begin with the latest developments on this month's deadly dog attack in Dighton, Mass. Days after the funeral for the teenager killed by the dogs he was caring for, the town set to decide what happens next to those animals. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joining us live this morning with a look ahead. Yeah, Patrick, the fate of those dogs will be decided tonight at Dighton's Board of Selectmen meeting. They'll vote on whether to euthanize the dogs that mauled a 14-year-old Rehoboth boy to death two weeks ago. We were there as Ryan Hazel was laid to rest just a few days ago. For the past year, the Rehoboth boy had been helping care for the dogs on Maple Swamp Road in Dighton. They're still investigating what caused four of the dogs to go after him. Since that deadly attack, three Belgian Malinois and one Dutch Shepherd have been under quarantine. Investigators say these dogs and about two dozen others were seized from the property and were not licensed with the town. The DA's office says their owner, Scott Dunmore, has been cooperative with their investigation. Things like that should never happen to anybody, never mind a 14-year-old boy. And tonight's Board of Selectmen meeting in Dighton will begin with a moment of silence for Hazel. Meanwhile, back in April, a similar situation played out here in Taunton when six pit bulls attacked a woman who was walking with her dog. Those pit bulls were put down after a dangerousness hearing. Reporting live in Taunton, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.